Hello friends, this video is being presented by tpncare.com. Today I am going to show you how we connect tubing to a curlin pump. This is what the curlin pump looks like. Before putting in the tubing, I am going to put the batteries. This is the back side of the pump. Right now it's in the lock position. I am going to slide it to the unlock position. Open the cover. Slide in the Duracell batteries making sure that the plus and the minus sign are in the right place. I am going to slide the battery cover back in and slide it to the lock position. On the top of the pump is where the tubing goes in. As you can see it says here lift to open. I am going to insert my thumb under this latch. Apply slight pressure and pull it out. This is the position the pump needs to be in for the tubing to go and sit inside the top part. On the left side of the pump is a yellow arrow. This is where the yellow part of the tubing goes in. On the right side of the pump is a blue arrow. This is where the blue side of the tubing will go in. These are the guiding points. So I'm going to put the pump on the side and open my tubing. This is what the Curlin administration set looks like. The brand is Moog. I'm going to take out the tubing from its packaging. It says here peel. This is where I open the packaging from. Before I do anything with the tubing, I'm just going to use some more sanitizer on my hand. As the tubing is sterile, once it comes out of the package, I want to make sure that it stays that way. I'm going to remove the extra taping and discard it. Now as you can see, this is the yellow part, this is the blue part. On the yellow part on the top is a small circular tip that needs to be broken. I'm going to apply slight pressure and that's all it takes for this to come out. I'm going to discard this. Now the tubing is ready to go into the pump. The yellow side will go where I showed you the yellow arrow. It sits in really easily. The tubing rotates over the pump and then the blue side goes into the slit under the blue arrow. The remaining tubing goes from underneath the latch and outside. Once this is done I am going to press the latch and press from where it says lift to open. This secures the tubing in place. This part goes into the TPN bag. And this is the other part that can either go into the pick line or it can be used to extend the tubing and that is what I'm going to show you now. We use the Wygon curling tubing to extend the curling tubing. This is my Wygon tubing. It's a curly tubing and it gives us quite a bit of extra length. Before I open the tubing, I make sure that the caps are in place. This is very important. Initially, when we started using the Wygon tubing, we realized that it starts to entangle, like it's difficult to walk around um, and this is a great tip that has worked for us. We let the tubing stay in the green packaging that it comes with and we just take out the protective ends and connect them to the curling tubing. That's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to put some more sanitizer on my hand. I'm going to use some alcohol as well. 
Although this is not really required, we go this extra step and wipe the edges, the outside part of the connector points with alcohol just to make sure that it's sterile. The key is that the circular part of the curling tubing is going to go into the winged part of the Wygon tubing. As you can see, I make sure not to touch the connector points with my hands. This is all sterile and that's how it should stay. I'm going to remove the cap from my curling tubing and discard it. I'm going to remove the cap from the Wygon tubing and discard it. And the winged end of the Wygon tubing is going to go into the circular edge of the curling tubing. I'm going to apply a slight pressure, twist and rotate it into place. It's as easy as that. As we were told, the ends of these tubings are coated. So uh, there's really no need to use alcohol before connecting them. But um, we go an extra step because sometimes my observation is that when we open the packaging, the uh, protective caps are sometimes not in place or they are slightly loose. Okay, now uh, as you can see, when this green cover stays in, it protects the tube from getting entangled and it gives us quite a bit of extra length. The exact measurements should be available on the website. So um, this is it and um, for um, more videos please visit our website tpncare.com. Thank you for watching.